What a day it has been. A day of euphoria, a day of excitement. Some will have vague memories, some will have fond memories, and some will have strong memories of November 16, 1997, the day that Jamaica qualified for the FIFA World Cup. Now, today, August 2, 2023, new memories. New memories. A different script, a different book, a special day in Jamaican football and sporting history. A day never to be forgotten, August 2, 2023. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So this video in particular is the top 10 reggae girls results of all time. Of all time. The top 10 reggae girls results of all time. Of all time. That's what we're going to do. And without further ado, we're going to go right into the matter. Okay. At number 10, Jamaica 14, St. Lucia nil. That's right. Jamaica 14, St. Lucia nil. This is Jamaica's biggest ever victory in the history of women's football. I repeat again, the biggest ever victory that the Reggae Girls have achieved in international football. A 14 nil victory on June 20, 2014. This was an Olympic qualifier. And a young lady who actually is in Australia right now, she scored in that game. And who is that? Well, that is Sashana Campbell. At number 10, Jamaica 14, St. Lucia nil. To date, Jamaica's biggest victory in women's football. Senior football, that is. Because Jamaica do have a 21 nil victory over Grenada at the under 20 level. But in relation to the senior reggae girls, 14 nil over St. Lucia. And that game took place in the Dominican Republic. La República Dominicana in San Cristobal. Now we go to number nine or nueve in this list, and we're gonna go to Kansas for this one. October 15, 2014. What was the scoreline? What was the match? Jamaica, six, Martinique, nil. Why are we looking at this encounter in particular? Well, it was the first time that the Reggae Girls were winning a game at the CONCACAF Women's Championship since 2006. Yep, that is right. On that occasion, Jamaica defeated Panama by two goals to nil in 2006. But an eight-year spell ended as Jamaica recorded a victory in the CONCACAF Women's Championship in 2014. And you could say this opened the floodgates for more victories in future women's CONCACAF championships. And remember the month of October. Still so much more to come where this is concerned. Number eight. Also in October, but in 2018, Jamaica won Costa Rica nil. That is right, Khadija Bunnishaw scoring for the Jamaicans to defeat Costa Rica by a goal to nil. Well, the tournament started with the Canadians getting a victory over the Jamaicans, but this victory was proved vital. Sydney Schneider with a clean sheet, Khadija Bunnishaw with a goal, and it gave the momentum to Jamaica as Jamaica went on to defeat Cuba 9 nil. And then Jamaica took on the United States in the semifinals, and then the third place playoff, Jamaica took on Panama. Well, the rest is history. Yep, the rest is history from there on in. So at number eight, Jamaica one, Costa Rica nil. That's October 8, 2018 in Texas. But at number seven, we're going to go to a moment also in 2018, but a little before the Costa Rica game. And this is Jamaica two, Haiti two, now you might say, Simon, why are we talking about a draw on May 13, 2018? Well, this was crucial because Haiti, in Haiti, is not an easy opponent to play. Whether men's, women's, beach soccer, futsal, Haiti in Haiti is always a difficult opposition. And when Jamaica are in a stadium where it was 95, 98% partisan Haitian support and Jamaica rallying from two goals down to bring it to 2-2, that was memorable as it helped Jamaica to not only top the group, but advance to the Caribbean final round of the qualifiers. And that was important in the journey towards France 2019. That's Jamaica 2, Haiti 2 at number seven. At number six, a special one. Jamaica 1, Mexico 0, July 4, 2022. Khadija Show again with the goal. Jamaica defeating Mexico in Mexico for the first time 
in women's football history. Khadija Bunny Shaw helping Jamaica to get the three points and a crucial three points as everything added up for Jamaica to make 2023 a reality. That's Jamaica 1, Mexico 0. At number five on this list, it's something that also took place in 2022, and that is Jamaica 4, Haiti 0. That's right, Jamaica 4, Haiti 0. July 11, 2022, Trudy Carter, Bunny Shaw, Drew Spence, goals, goals, goals. Jamaica 4, Haiti 0, as Jamaica secured qualification to back-to-back -back World Cups. Jamaica 4, Haiti 0 at number five. At number four on this list, we can't leave this one out at all, ever. October 17, 2018, you guys know that moment very, very well. Jamaica, two, Panama, two, Jamaica, four, two on penalties. Qualified for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. We had Bunny Shaw and Jody Brown scoring in 120 minutes and in a penalty shootout. Never forget the names of the ladies who converted as well. You had Denisha Blackwood, Ashley Shim, you also had Christina Chang, and in addition, addition to her, Dominique Bond Flaza. Jamaica qualifying for their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup. At number four, Jamaica two, Panama two, Jamaica four two on penalties. At number three on this list, Jamaica nil, France nil. Jamaica's first ever point in the history of the FIFA Women's World Cup. That is Jamaica nil, France nil. Jamaica's first ever point in the history of the FIFA Women's World Cup. July 23, 2023, Jamaica's first game of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, Jamaica nil, France nil, Jamaica's first ever point in the history of the FIFA Women's World Cup. A clean sheet as well for Rebecca Spencer, who joined Ali and Whitaker as the only other Jamaican goalkeeper to keep a clean sheet at a World Cup. That's Jamaica nil, France nil in 2023. Number two on this list, Jamaica won, Panama nil. That's right, Jamaica won, Panama nil, July 29, 2023. That's number two on this list as Alison Swaby, scored for the Jamaicans. She was, she's also Jamaica's second goal scorer in the FIFA Women's World Cup after Havana Salon. And Alison Swaby is also the first Jamaican defender to score at a FIFA World Cup since Zelana Barnes in 2011 against Argentina. This of course was at the under 17 FIFA World Cup. So absolutely sensational work by Alison Swaby. Three points for Jamaica, Jamaica's first ever victory in the history of the FIFA Women's World Cup. That's Jamaica one. Panama nil on July 29, 2023. And number one in this list. Well, it needs no introduction. Jamaica nil. Brazil nil. Jamaica qualifying for the round of 16 of a FIFA World Cup for the first time ever. Ever. Five points for the first time ever in World Cup history. Ever. Jamaica in the round of 16. For the first time in 85 years. 85 years that's the last time we saw a caribbean team in the round of 16 of a world cup 85 years 85 years that's the last time we saw a caribbean team in the round of 16 of a world cup cuba 1938 and now we can crush up that paper and throw it away that's right throw it away completely jamaica nil brazil nil and that's number one on the list what about your thoughts i'm interested to hear how you guys feel about it as well which is number one on your list do you agree with my 10 or do you have a slightly different take on the 10 well let me know your thoughts in the comments below i look forward to hearing seeing what you guys have to say as well in terms of your top 10 if you guys haven't already i encourage you as well to hit the like button and after you hit the like button to hit the subscribe button to read your boys commentary as well come on guys smash the like button no 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 you guys know what you need to do all right Quite simple, quite straightforward, and you guys get the drift of exactly what I'm saying from this sort of perspective, right? History is coming. Yep, history has been made. And come next week, Tuesday, we're going to have to set the alarms one more time. You know, so truly special, truly remarkable, truly important. A moment to savor, a moment to cherish, a moment to truly embrace. Jamaica are in the last 16 of the World Cup. Just let that sink in for a moment. Jamaica are in the round of 16 of a World Cup. A Caribbean team is in the round of 16 of a World Cup for the first time in 85 years. Rebecca Spence has kept three clean sheets in the World Cup. Jamaica is one of three teams to keep clean sheets at this World Cup alongside Japan and Switzerland. Amazing. And again, hit the like button, like, share, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. Cool, guys.